just want to see those rods go bang, 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 bang. Let's go fishing. I'm in the Swan River. This is Crawley. Beautiful place of Perth, capital city of Western Australia. That's where I live. My name is Dom. And welcome to Dom's Fishing Adventures. Just going for a little casual fish. I just want to see if there's any tailor out here or bluefish. Got a few lures already lined up. Troll around a few areas. It's a Saturday and there's just no one here. And I'm thinking maybe there's a bit of cloud cover. There's a few sprinkles, but really, Saturday you're not working, just go fishing. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. And if you're new to the show, welcome. And uh, I really appreciate if you like it and subscribe if you do like it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you out there on the water. Catch a few fish. All right, so I'm going to cast out here. There's no signs of any birds. It doesn't mean the fish aren't around. Just got a diver double clutch here. Just going to cruise along the uh, channel markers here. Slow it down a bit. Got a how coat laser pro on that one. The double clutch on this one. Just cruising at four knots, I think I am. Yeah, four or five knots. Always just looking out for birds. I just don't know if today's going to produce because it's quite a bit chilly. But just never know, there's a few birds way out over there. But uh, yeah, just scan around and soak it up. Just want to see those rods go bang, 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 bang. So far, it's been nothing. I've trawled all the way up here to the city. So, looks like we may have to go downstream a bit. So in the distance over here, I saw a lot of birds diving down and whatnot, but now they've just stopped. But it's always worth throwing a lure. Yeah, see over here. There's a few birds around. There's a lot of them just sitting on the surface, but they'll jumping up and down before so I'm gonna throw my lure here that's what you got to do when you want to chase his tailor find the birds and hopefully find the fish always on the lookout for any activity there you go so there's a lot of birds flying around us hopefully they uh, start diving We're on. We're on. The birds were activating too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see so he's looking at it. <laughs> it's not that big. It's not giving me much curry. There are the birds around here, so that's a good sign. It's a fish. Yeah, it's definitely a tailor. Oh, <laughs> he's tiny. Oh my god. Ouch. Well, that's what we're going for. Oh, look at the birds there. So they're just um, schoolies. What do they call them? Chopper. Really small. That's why he went for the smaller, smaller lure. Yeah, 25 centimeter chopper. Your beauty. First one for the season. Chopper Taylor. All right, mate. I want your bigger ones. <laughs> so we got one. And they're small, so I might downsize the lures and just have a bit of fun. I don't think I'll go for the big halco. That's good. It's always a good feeling getting that first, first fish. And it's been about an hour and a half. It's a small one, but I mean, that's just great. Mission accomplished. Get a few size ones and hopefully uh, have a nice cook up later on. Search and destroy mission today just to see if there's any good sized tailors around the place. Still early in the season. Not like last year, it was just a bumper season. Who knows if it's going to happen this year as well. Right, oh, oh. I was just trying to fix up this lure because it was bouncing on the top. And I saw a splash, it's definitely a fish. 
let's see, come up around here. There he is. Is it a tailor? Yeah, it is. It's another chopper. I oh, foul hooked, but <laughs> another fish. I'm telling you, I'm enjoying each fish I catch. I've only caught two, but they're so hard to find. But there you go. Still managed to get one. Right, so let's uh, untangle this guy. Oh, so there you go. Another chopper. It's probably about the same size as the other one. Oh, it's 26. It's getting bigger. I'll take a photo because there's not many fish here. Alrighty, time to let this guy go. See you, mate. Have a good trip back home. That one there is getting heaps, heaps of hits. But it's just a bit too big for these fish. Might downsize it to another lure. Maybe this one here. Might do a turn before the bridge. The current's going out here. Oh, double hookup. Double hookup. That's awesome. So I actually went in. Oh, that's a really good one. Um, <laughs> I actually went into the shallows. Thinking maybe they're stuck in the shallows because of the high tide. And you can see there's double hookup. I might actually bit the boat a little bit forward so that fish can. Uh, Stay. Oh, he's jumping, he came off, oh no! There goes my fish, Tucker. Got to back up here. Oh, this one here's got me more. This one is a bit more feistier. There goes my fish, Tucker. <laughs> Better just take it easy here. And yeah, so the trick is when you pick them up, don't try and let them jump out of the water. This one here. Should I use my little net? Uh, should be right, yeah. That could be the first fish tucker fish for today. He just might be size. So it just all happened. Oh, relief. So going into the shallows worked. There you go. Come on, be a sizey. I want some fish, Tucker. Yeah, beauty. 31. So, first tailor of the season. <laughs> We're in business. Oh my God, he's taking forever. I'm gonna bleed him. And yeah, look, there must be fish here. I might actually cast a few lures and see if I can locate them. So this one hooked up. Bad thing is I've got lines all over the place. Oh, I think he spat it. No, he's still on. Oh my god, lucky. Oh, and he's really fighting it. Oh, he's a good size, too. Bring him up on the. Yeah, he's a good size. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Okay. That's what we're after. So the fish are in the shallows on a high tide. Just learn something every time. You go fishing, and yeah, that's a fine specimen, 36 centimeter one. That's a beauty. Woo! Love it. <laughs> I love this fishing. <laughs> Trials and jubilations. We're on. Okay, this one went off, and uh, yeah, look, I found, eventually found where the fish are. Oh, just gonna let him fire out a bit. Oh, nice. Nice specimen here. More fish tucker. Let's hope he stays on. Stay on. Yeah, stays on. Woo! That's what I'm on about. Tough morning, but eventually, we got him. We got him. All right, okay. When I do this, you just gotta be careful. You don't want those hooks flying into your skin. Just gotta, there we go. That's a little mini baseball bat might come handy. 
in the meantime, I'm going to keep trolling because that lure is out there. I see it's already been hit. I think it's been hit. I think it's been hit. Is it hit? No. It will. It's getting attacked. Yeah, he's on. Woo. Okay. He's on. Alrighty. He's on. Uh, could be on. Oh my god. Fish over here. Yeah, he's on. He's on. So I found the fish. I found the fish. <laughs> so fishing is like a hunt, you know. You, you try and use your instincts, your experience, also a bit of luck, but oh, good size. Good size. Oh, yeah. Woo hoo hoo! Yeah, beauty! Yeah, beauty! Good, oh! So I might, um, I'll get rid of this one safely. Ah, oh, and I've got a, got a lure ready on the other line. Might just cast for them. Just, yeah, 35. Alright. We're not drifting too much of the wind, so quickly bleed him. Oh right, I caught three. I didn't realise I got three. Bleed that one. Bleed that one. Now what I'm going to do, cast and see if I can hook one up. That's a bit more exciting. There's no sign or evidence of fish here, but I've caught those couple in the same spot. So they're bound to be around. Maybe they're just cruising around the shallows, waiting for the tide to change. This one seems to be getting hit. I think it has. Okay, come around this way. Oh, that's a nice hookup. Nice hookup. Good fish. Good fish. So I'll keep trolling. Be a school around here just sitting there waiting for the ambush and he really took it right on the tail bit that's why these we call these fish tailor I mean he actually swallowed the back tail a bit entirely oh look at that he actually chomped it right it's no one for the bucket oh this one here is running maybe the drag is a bit too loose He's got some girth on it, I think. At least he's foul hooked. This just seems to be quite decent. And I just moved into again the shallower water. You want to keep on going over the same spot. Oh, try and fight him like a proper fish, but he's definitely foul hooked, I reckon. Just feels a lot heavier than usual. That's you running. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. There you go. Oh yeah. Here he comes. Here he comes. I think I might get the net for this one. Good size. My god. Yeah, so I oh, know it's alright. So yeah, it was foul hooked. Still. A good size fish. That's probably fish of the day. I'm going to keep these tailors. I might just stun him a bit. There we go. Beautiful tailor. Again, went over this spot. I was just taking a photo of uh, just the scenery, and my rod just took off again. So that's just great, 
good size ones. There he is out there in the distance. Just pumping. Oh, okay, he's got his mouth wide open, so he should be fine. Look at that. Whoa! Acrobatics. He might come off, but that's fine. Get some underwater shots here. Already. Oh. Okay, there you go. Bada bing. Yeah, so a rip a total there. Yeah, some good size. So what a great day. Great morning, and it's what, only 10 to 10. I was actually struggling quite a fair bit in the morning, and I was almost determined to turn back, had those two small fish, I said, oh, well, that's how it goes, but no, I stayed around and just tried something different. Oh, uh, well, we'll uh, see you home for the cook-up. I might do a bit of a run. This engine needs a good running, so let's get into it. Let's go. for the cook-up. It feels like I haven't done a cook-up for ages. I've already prepped my tailor's fillets. I've bread them. I've already done a show on it and how to do it. I'm not going to show you again, but I'm just going to show you how I'm going to cook it up. And I'm going to go into the garden and get some key ingredients because at the moment the garden's looking all right. There's not much around. In fact, I've got a, a pre-picked zucchini already from the plant over there. And everything's all pretty well grown, pretty small. I've got maybe an onion I can make good use of without the sand and and tomatoes well not quite ready yet but i've got maybe one two three cherry tomatoes and i've got a few herbs a bit of parsley there you go plus some more greens you need your daily roughage right so i'm just going to get this zucchini prep it up look how fresh this onion is don't know your fresh onions are actually good for cooking. Very good for salads, so that's all right. All right, so I've got myself a brand new cooker. Believe it or not, I put the other one on the barbie. Turned the barbie on. Didn't realize one of these was stuck there and it just, yeah, I should have filmed it. It wasn't, uh, it's was quite scary. <laughs> Chucking the onions, the veggies. I really don't know what I'm doing, I'm just using whatever I've got in the garden, cooking it up. Throwing the parsley right now. The fresh basil too. Bit of salt. Cook the fish, cook them into pieces. There we go. Kind of like a Mediterranean stir fry, I think. The terrain stir fry with minus those sauces, which they are nice, but I just love it nice and natural flavouring. No fish sauce, no soy sauce, no sesame oil, even though they're quite nice, but yeah, this is this is just easy, simple. This is looking fantastic. Smells great too. There you go, beautiful. Slightly charring on the sides there. Really enhances the flavours of all your ingredients when you do that. And the tail is really starting to smell great too. Thank God it's not windy today. Usually I'm struggling with the wind. It's actually quite calm. Almost summertime. Can't wait. I've actually got leftover risotto from the other day. Just one other dish I love cooking up for the crew here. Just put a little bit in. 
Make sure most of the hole rolling. That's looking great. And just a squeeze of lemon, not too much. That's it my friends. That is it. Mind you, I'm not going to eat all this. Share it. You better grab a fork. I'm keen for a taste test. <laughs> Let's go straight for the tailor. Without any fuels on it. Tailor's tailor, whether you like it or don't. It's a strong flavour. They're quite fresh, so they're still quite nice. Beautiful, absolutely nice. Veggies, well, what's the point? Plus the rice, a bit more fish. How's that for a combo? Yeah, that's actually really good. The zucchini really made the tailor nice and mellow. So you don't even know if it's a tailor. It's fantastic. Anyway, without further ado, I'm out of here. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Don mm -hmm. Petit. Fish, Take it easy. Taka. Fish, Taka. Fish, Taka. Fish, Taka, man. Fish, Taka. Fish, Taka. The fish, Taka, man.